Somebody? Somebody? Oh, got a road trip, Josh? Yeah, we're going to pick up some cool shit. You ready? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> we are uh we are loaded up convoy and we got all three so this truck that we're in right now is uh one of my roofing company trucks so with hammer time roofing and contractors i have a bunch mm -hmm. of company trucks mm -hmm. so every two years we gotta trade out of them and get new ones um and fortunately i bought too many last year so these 21 models that i've had um are done depreciating and aged out it's time to get rid of them so i decided to do a little stupid crap and um uh, trading in these trucks and i ended up with a uh 2024 regular cab f-150 four-wheel drive i'm gonna go pick it up right now it's uh ignite silver i'm gonna name that one coors light put some graphics okay. on it okay. you know four-wheel okay. drive truck you gotta you gotta pay homage okay. to the rednecks right yeah. then while I was at the dealership being an idiot because my wife decided she wanted a new Bronco to play around in instead of a Jeep, we bought a Raptor Bronco, which is fucking sick, by the way. Uh, like, super, super nice vehicle. I'm very impressed with it. Uh, I don't remember what package they call it, but it's the fully loaded Raptor Bronco, so it's got the leather and Alcantara seats. Um, every option you can get and that thing has like active exhaust active shocks uh fox shocks on it that are active you got buttons on the steering wheel to change like your steering dampening and stuff for like comfort mode yeah. dude this thing is insane so my initial review on that one after driving it last night and since i was the first one to leave today i snuck out in it and i took it today she's not <laughs> happy she still has her range rover so i mean yeah. you can't be too mad at me right but I brought it to work. It is on its way to the window tent shop right now, getting the window tent done on it, because that's her first thing she wanted done. Shout out to one of my good buddies um, up in Dallas at Bonnie and Clyde Stereos. Those guys do an unbelievable job up there. They're the ones that originally did my F350 and did all my bumpers and lights and a bunch of upgrades on it for me up there. They've done some work for TJ Bailey. We just go, we just go off a mile an hour. Um, Eric McClellan, a lot of people refer to those guys. Um, anyways, <laughs> shout out to my buddy. Um, that he goes by Chorizo. Okay. So while we're at the dealership getting the Bronco, mm -hmm. I then am pulling up and decide that, huh, they've got a really beautiful 2024 S650 style Mustang sitting there, GT of course, with a 50 Coyote. Mm -hmm with uh it, it is a base model that one and we bought a base model specifically in both vehicles the truck and the mustang because we're going to announce something here pretty soon on our deal that we're doing with it we're partnering up with a few other of the big companies uh we're probably gonna boost both of them some way somehow i don't know mm -hmm. if we're gonna go whipple or pro charge or turbos we're not sure yet but we did just complete the order with kelly aiken in florida with keltrex so okay. we have the Keltrek okay. suspension coilover kit coming for both vehicles currently. Um, those are being produced right now and sent to us. So shout out to Kelly and Keltrex. And then I've got to make a phone call here in a little bit because the wheels that I want for them, I want to put matching um, Bellix on it. So the Bellix are like the ultimate badass wheel you can get for, for drag racing and for street tires too. So I think we're going to put... Um, bead locks all the way around the f-150 with the bellix and then same thing on the s650 that i had on my black car on the black s550 i had so we're gonna we're gonna do some cool shit to them um i've got long tube headers already in stock for both vehicles so if you need long tube headers i carry those in stock um i don't use any specific brand the brand that we use we actually had manufactured and made for us specifically so they are a Hammer Time Motorsports branded um, long tube header system. Um, we have those for any Coyote platform. We can also um, have those within a few days for most GM platforms as well. Um, anything Mopar, we're gonna refer you up to Chris at Bailey's High Performance. Yeah, so we're, uh, we're headed to the dealership now. 
I do want to make a quick shout out because we are going to show where we bought all these from. So mm -hmm. one of our good customers and a guy that does some business with us on, on some different levels, um, Dalton Bishop, he's uh, one of the sales managers on the new car side of Mack Hyatt Ford in DeSoto. And if you know anything about me and Dalton, we have a love-hate relationship. One minute, me and Dalton hate each other. Next minute, we kiss and make up and we're good to go. But I will tell you that I buy and sell a lot of vehicles. And Dalton has been the most straight up, honest guy when it comes to buying and selling and purchasing my vehicles from Ford. I bought my F350, I've got a 2023 Super Duty. I bought that from Dalton uh, last year, or yeah, a little into 23. Um, got a really good deal on that, was very happy with that process, and then now we just bought three vehicles in a 24-hour period from him. Mm. Everything's e-sign, they take care of everything. I mean, dude, it is it is a level of service you don't get at any other dealership. You ever bought a car, on? Like, yeah. you ever go to a dealership yeah. and have to sit there for, like, hours? Yeah, yeah, dude, with, with the Honda. That, man. Yeah, with the And then it's like, oh, here's my best price. <laughs> yeah. And you're like, nah, screw that. Oh, well, let me go talk to the manager. And then I come... It's yeah. a back and forth bull crap game. Yeah. I hate that. Like yeah. with a passion, I hate that. I guess you guys stick around and here in a minute we will be at the dealership and magically be getting rid of a couple trucks <laughs> and picking up a few other cool vehicles. Yesterday was looking at different cars, so mm -hmm. we I mean we chose the one we chose, which our blue one is actually sitting right here. We were yeah. gonna get this silver one to match the silver truck, but again that blue one just get the wheels in get the bumpers so they order them this way just specifically because like these bumpers being solid black like that they're easy mm -hmm. to do paint matching stuff on them we're gonna do a three five drop on it immediately with the uh, keltrex coilover system and stuff it goes to the window tent shop today it's actually leaving here and going straight to the window tent shop this is your famous dog hey. yo, yo, what's up man this is the guy i was talking about making all the deals man he uh He's, he's the one you need to come see. Make sure you talk to him. Um, you'll love me. So, you have both keys to all three trucks and the vets on there. The they're actual ones to the vet. They're in a meeting right now. Uh, let me know probably like five, ten minutes. Or so. Perfect. That ain't no problem at all. Dude, that Raptor Bronco is like, that's impressive. I was. Like, I knew it was cool, but like, we left yesterday and we drove it from here to Dallas to Chew and then drove it home last night. And then I stole it this morning. She was the last one to leave, so I just jumped in and stole it. And so I jumped in it, hauled butt to work in it today, and I was like, this thing's stupid. I started playing with all the buttons and stuff, and then this is about us for XL, though. Dude, for a freaking digital dash, got the 12 inch screen. For that good work truck, huh? Thank God a Hemi? <laughs> Hell no, it don't. We're not gay. We don't have Hemi like Chris Bailey. Yeah, this thing's going to be a lot of fun. Like a lot of fun. From all the 2024s, you know, in 2023, you had to get yeah. the XLTs and up to get the big screen. But yeah. 2024, yeah. anything XL and up comes with the uh, digital dash and Oh, shit. Yeah, this thing, this thing's gonna be pretty cool. These seats are like stupid comfortable. That's the only thing like on those work there. trucks that I have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was... Those are like my favorite because they're so comfortable. Yeah, this thing's gonna be, this thing's gonna be super sick. Man, gonna take it for a spin, bro? Hell no! <laughs> I'll get fired right through there. <laughs> it's clean though. Clean as hell. I can see over the dash in this one. <laughs> Are you still see? Yeah, I still see. 
It's bad. Alright, it looks good. It looks good. Jesus. 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 <laughs> Damn, so he traded everything in, yo. Yeah, just for uh, the blue Mustang, the fucking Coyote truck, single cab, and the Bronco. Damn. Oh, my bad. The Raptor R. Yeah, that, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I gotta get it right. <laughs> this color or anything, like, of the darker blues, I don't like the, what is it, Kona blue or whatever. Mm -hmm. But this color, I'm I'm a big fan of. This is grabber blue. This is like an ultimate Ford color. I'm like, it don't even look bad with these wheels and stuff on it, but it'll be totally different by next week. Like, yeah. This thing will be totally different by next week. You putting new wheels, new everything? Everything. Yeah. Suspension, wheels, brakes, new tires, getting the windows tinted. Exhaust goes on it today. Um, we've got full long tube headers going on it today. We've got some top secret research and development items coming for it. We'll see. We got, we got, got some crazy stuff coming to it. We'll see what happens. I bought you something else. I bought you something else. Not really. Not really. Not really. Not really. Not really. <laughs> Look. Look. Oh, my fault. There it is. That's your new rental. Lamont said he needs to see you. Huh? Look. I need to show you something. We want to see you cry. We want to see real tears, okay? Ah, uh, I know. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I got you, I got you. Yeah, we didn't really trade it in. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the other keys in? We're good to go? Place in there, yes, sir. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Hill Drive. Heck no. <laughs> Heck no. I'm nervous about him following me right now. And he's going to tear up that trunk in like 10 minutes. He's going to tear that thing up. <laughs> Man, we should have put a GoPro in that truck just to oh, see yeah, what they'd be, be talking, talking about. Yeah. They'd be talking all kinds of shit. <laughs> you, Larry, you know, this simple exercise can help you stay healthy. We, we changed the modes on it. Look. Look at that screen, man. That's sick, dude. That is sick. You got normal mode. You can go sport mode. Get a little sporty. Shoot. Is that manual? And then we can go drag mode. We got drag strip mode. Little track mode change it a little bit too, make it look good. And then let's go drag strip, see what happens. Ooh, got a little burn out. Come on, that's Nick's car. Even though we have way too much to do today and not enough time, we're gonna stop for lunch. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That'd be the first time all in like three weeks that I've actually went and sat down and had lunch somewhere. And you so, still probably go get phone calls. Oh, and... I'll be on the phone the whole time. <laughs> Just smacking. Yeah. Yeah, that's all I'm they'll be calling me where are you at uh hey we need you for this like texas cajun basically they started out like down around waco and stuff they were a food truck and dude it just like blew up and got popular and this thing man they are it is good so he got this restaurant and uh, he got the land and built this restaurant it is like you want good like they got crawfish and shrimp This place is good. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. We the boys. That's how you look. Look, you need that on video. I got it. This I is it. exactly how we've lost three debit cards in a week. That right there. That's <laughs> all you got? You're fine, Lewis. Really. I checked right, the dude. speed and everything. I was going 80, didn't realize it. Nick, if you if you get a speeding ticket, you are fired immediately. Just so you're aware. Okay. I'm just making sure. Just so we're on the same page. 
same sheet of music here. Same sheet of music. Charlie doesn't have a school, though. We ain't got insurance yet. We're trying to run and get our licenses finished. We ain't got insurance. <laughs> I want some banana pudding with no bananas. I don't know if they do that because I think I asked them. I think it's already in. You really did it? That's how you do it? Yeah. You know what's crazy? What? So growing up, I hate bananas. Like, mm -hmm. with a I've never even eaten a banana one time. Bobby loves them. He swallows them whole. It's weird. It's the weirdest thing. Growing up my whole life, I hate bananas, but I love banana pudding. My Mimo, growing up, in any family function, there was a huge tub of banana pudding because she was like mm -hmm. famous for it. Mm -hmm. There was a little one. And it said, do not touch. And that was mine, by Cause myself. Because it had no banana. No bananas. Nobody it, else was ever allowed to touch it. If they ran out yeah. of the big one, and that was the only one left, you weren't allowed to touch it. 